Hey guys, it's Damien from Marketing Food Online, and I'm back with the third installment, uh, part three, I guess, if you will, of the top three categories I would highly recommend you look into in regards to uh, reselling products, food products, and expanding what you can offer by selling food online. Now, uh, this is one of my favorite categories out of the out of all three of them. And the reason being, and I'll explain to you why, um, is that organic foods, um, specifically just the category of organic, covers a lot of different tastes, a lot of different age levels, kids, uh, parents. Um, at any stage, of course, in their life and such. When it comes to like sugar-free, um, mainly you're, what you're doing is you're looking for people who are looking for um, no sugar products that are either diabetic or they're health conscious or they're looking to lower their sugar uh, intake by trying to eat foods that have either no sugar or lower sugar content in the products. So it's kind of a smaller segment of, of, the so of society. Um, but the great thing about organics is – that even people um, who are, if you're healthy, if you're diabetic, um, in many cases, um, a lot of these these products um, are organic that you can find that kind of appeal to a wider variety of people's tastes and palates. Um, and the organic um, product lines are just expanding rapidly. Um, literally everything under the sun now is pretty much made organically um, or there is a variation that is made organic, okay, from ketchups to honeys. Um, to um, coconut oils, and then you've got peanut butters, and then you've got cereals, you've got snacks. It just goes on and on, okay? So that's why I love the organics, and that's why it's such a great broad product line to bundle, okay? And I'm going to go into some examples, and then I don't want to uh, give you a million different ways. I don't want to take up much of your time and bore you with a lecture about how to bundle them. I'm just going to give you the concept. I'm going to throw some examples at you, and then you guys can kind of go with it. Um, if you want to ask me any questions, of course, down below, please, in the, in the, uh, the, the question section, please feel free to ask me some questions and I can help you guys out. So as you know, of course, my focus is my business that produces our brand of candies. Okay. That is what we do, but that is not all we do. Okay. So what I've tried to do is um, I know the food business. I know the food business very well, and I've taken advantage of what I know and kind of expanded upon what else can I sell and how can I sell it? Sometimes it's not necessarily what you're selling. It's actually going to be, it's going to boil down to how are you selling it? And that's the that's just the most exciting thing about bundles is that you can put together three to four to five or six items or more. You can increase that single transaction. Okay, these are the key points that you need to keep in mind. The whole idea about creating bundles is uh, bringing together a variety of products that are going to appeal to that customer, and they're going to spend a thirty, forty, or fifty, or even sixty dollar drop um, on a single transaction. Okay, as opposed to taking a one single product, flipping it, and you make a dollar or two. You know that's great but you know that's not going to be a big deal if you're making a couple dollars per unit you'd have to sell several hundred units or transactions um, if you do the bundle method you're literally at the point where you could uh, basically sell a couple of transactions and you're making as much money as you would if you had to sell a few hundred okay hopefully that makes sense to you guys <clears throat> so what, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna just show you some examples okay now remember keep in mind when it comes to organic foods you have a tremendous amount of different types of products, okay? Uh, you have the honeys, like I just said. You mentioned the honeys, uh, but you've got variations. You've got different types of honeys, okay? Cereals, okay? Now, I'm also going gonna, gonna to let you in on a little secret. Um, the one thing about certain products are they're bought more frequently than others. What I mean by that, I'm going to give you an example. Uh, when it comes to like mayonnaise, mustard, uh, condiments, for instance, ketchups and things. There's a lot of great organic products in those categories of, of condiments that you can you know, put on sandwiches and such. But it takes a while for the average family to deplete that bottle of ketchup or to use up all that mustard. Nobody uses like a, a, an entire container of mustard in a week. Okay. Now, if you've got kids or if you're a family and now you've got cereal, okay, just an example, cereal, you could go through a few bowls of this. You can eat up this bag pretty quick. OK, in a week or even maybe less, you know, if you got two or three kids or any family does and then you got a parent, mom and dad and they're eating, they're consuming cereal. They're not going to go through may mayonnaise as quick as they would cereal. OK, you see what I'm saying? So there's a handful of products that go very quick. OK, here's some other great ones right here. These are um, uh, Ella's Kitchen Organic Apples and Sweet Potatoes. These a lot of kids. My, my son loved these when he was a, a little bit younger. He went through these like water, okay, like crazy. These are great items 
to bring together and promote as a bundle. This flavor, this flavor, and so on and so on. You know, you can even mix a, a different one in here, Earth's Best. You don't have to necessarily stick to the one single brand. Incorporate different brands, guys. There's nothing limiting you to do this. Okay. Use your imagination and come up with some variations. You know, if you put a four pack together right here, you've got a four pack, four different types, averaging about $1.85 a unit, $1.95. So let's say $2 a unit. Bring four of those together. That's $8 invested, $19.99 with free shipping. Okay. Um, and we go down to here and we'll take a look. When it comes to juices, you've got that as well. You even have these K cups or these, uh, the Green Mountain Coffee Organic Sumatra cups. Okay, the Keurig cups, these are hugely popular. Um, you bring together four packs of organic on these babies. These, these sell like crazy. Now, this too, this is the type of an item that could be – you could drink this in a matter of about a week to maybe even less than that. Okay, it depends on how much coffee is drank from the people who buy it. But coffee is something used much more frequently than mustard or ketchup. You see what I'm saying? Um, so you want to keep that in mind. Try to focus on products that are used daily and that are consumed very quickly. Why? Because they're going. Your customer is going to come back again and again more frequently, and they're going to drop that thirty, forty, fifty, sixty dollars to with you. Okay. Um, now, if you go through here, now there's some things like you know they have organic shampoos and cosmetics and you know health and beauty. Uh, that's something that I, I personally don't do. It's it's not a food. It's not a consumable food product. So I'm not going to get into that. You you may see that through the listings as you go through here, okay? Um, but it's not necessarily something that I would recommend or even I'm not going to speak upon because I really don't know much about it. And the thing about it is also is shampoos and conditioners. I mean, you use a small dollop of it. It takes a while to go through a bottle of that too. You know, if you had let's say these soups right here. You know, you get uh, this this can, this company specifically. I actually love these soups myself. But Amy's Organic Soups, the lentil, they have a huge variety. Check this out right here, minestrone, and it goes on and on. I think they have like a dozen or so flavors. Bring all those together. You got an average of about three dollars a can, and you make your margin. Like I said, make about an eight to ten dollar margin, and then you offer free shipping. Use a flat rate box, and you're done. So scroll down here. Um, also, try to keep in mind if you can. By the way, this brand is phenomenal. This is very, uh, very even extremely small niche product, but the product is of a very high quality. It's gluten free. It's organic. Has a lot of health benefits. A lot of health conscious people buy these types of products, and I can tell you for a fact on Amazon, just because I can tell you from a fact <laughs> on Amazon, uh, this these types specifically Namaste. This brand is hugely popular. Okay, and you can go to Amazon check it out for yourself. So right here, you've got a variety of Namaste products, right? So bring together one bag of each and bring a four pack maybe together or even a six pack. You know, Go through here and find them out and then bring them together. And like I said before, if you want to do this online, there are some great ways to do it to where you get free shipping from Walmart and you're able to, to bundle these products. You make a margin and the shipping's free to you, okay? Like I said before, you create a website. You do it's really simple. You can even do a Shopify store. You've, you've created your website, pop up your products, put your descriptions, do them in bundles, and then from there, what you can do is you let your customer know, hey, orders are shipped out Monday or Wednesdays and Fridays. We ship out only twice a week. Let them know that in the listing because in advance the customer will know that, so they know, hey, you know what? Obviously, if I buy it on Wednesday. It's not going to be shipped to either Friday or the following day. It's not going to, I'm not going to receive it. And let them know the turnaround time. Why? Because you get two-day free shipping with Walmart. And if you buy the products at a $35 minimum, you're getting free shipping, costing you nothing. Okay? So you receive them within the window that you told your customer you're going to get them by, and then you can pack them up, ship them out, and you're good to go. Okay? So organics, guys, this is just a huge – I'm going to do this right here. I'm going to type in for you and pull up the original listing – uh, categories. Just type in the word organic. You don't need to go organic sugar. Don't be specific. When you type in this specifically at the at the search bar, just type in organic and hit enter. And watch what comes up. You have all this here. See these on the left side? This will show you organic foods and grains and condiments and rice. Okay. And you can you can sort through here. Dietary needs. You can pick out, hey, there you go. As a matter of fact, there's the gluten-free organic kosher and even vegan. Uh, by the way, actually, you know what? I need to. Uh, I'm going to show you guys. I forgot that was the fourth, the fourth category I needed to talk to you about. So, uh, a vegan products. Actually, this is a whole nother uh, group of customers. 
customer base that you can tap into, guys. It is huge. The reason why I say it's huge is I actually created a line of candies dedicated to serve the uh, my my customers, my candy customers, that is completely vegan candies. That's how big it was. I, I just pushed myself and figured out a way to create some vegan candies, and they sell like hotcakes on Amazon. So, um, all right, so you guys go through here, and again, go down, and then you can sort these categories out. Look at this. You just got at least an excess of 25 pages, okay? Um, click on here and go through here and bring together – there's also another great pairing is um, organic spaghetti sauce and organic pasta. It is a fantastic uh, uh, a bundle combination. And normally you want to do about three bottles of pasta. What I would recommend you do, three bottles of pasta, pick out a pasta sauce that's organic, three bottles and four packages of pasta. This pasta normally costs around like a dollar and change a box. These are very low price ticket items, okay? They don't cost a lot. And why would you bring the two together? Well, just common sense tells you, you know, you, you need pasta sauce with spaghetti. And if somebody's on an organic diet or they want to they want to start an organic diet, you bring together everything they need to create a meal, guys. Because here's the other thing about it. When you create a meal with with, with one whole jar of pasta and one box of pasta, you've already eaten up uh, about a third of the product you bought. Remember what I told you about a little while ago? Keep in mind how fast people consume certain things. So as they consume that and they eat that, they're done. They're going to want to come back for more, okay? See, like something like honey, nobody consumes an entire jar of honey in a week. A couple of jars of pasta sauce, if you got a couple of kids, if you have three kids and a, and a husband and wife and, or you're, you know, you've got a large family of five people or more, you know, you're not going to consume honey in a week. But you know what you could do? You'll go through two bottles of pasta sauce and three boxes of pasta in one night. And then they're going to be out again. And where are they going to buy it? From you. Why? Because you bundled it. You made a great price point. You make it, you make it convenient. That's the other thing you got to think about. As a consumer, let me ask you a question. If you're watching this video, if you are interested in a specific product and it is a, it, it's a product that requires two or three different things to be brought together, like pasta sauce and, and pasta and maybe a jar of cheese that's organic. Um, if I brought all those together and put it as one single listing and the customer sees that, they're not going to have to search through, you know, Amazon for three different items. They could just buy the the bundle. They don't have to search through Walmart to try to find three different products. Oh, it's all together, fantastic. Or even on your site, your Shopify store, you know, bundlesusa.com, whatever whatever you want to call it. And you bring together these things, you make it more convenient, guys, for your customer to to shop. Okay, so bundles are just I'm telling you, they're 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 the ticket to larger transactions. Period. You know, I could sit here all day and I could sell single things of organic Gerber uh, rice cereal, right? I buy it for four bucks, I sell it for nine ninety nine, and charge five dollars shipping. Now I could do that all day long, but my margins are going to be like two to three dollars for that transaction. Why don't you bring together five or six of these, or even a twelve pack? You know, this is something. Also, hey, if you got two kids or three babies, or maybe you had twins, and you just all of a sudden you've got two mouths to feed, this you're going to go through this, guys, very quick. You see where I'm going with this? Just think outside the box, guys, uh, and so on and so on. It just goes down, and as they get older, when they start doing this, you know, put together six of these and six of these, and then tack on your eight to ten dollar margin and call it a day. So keep that in mind. It just the concept is spe specifically pick a category. One of the three I've talked about: sugar-free, gluten-free, or organic foods. Okay, hugely popular. They're not going away anytime soon. And by the way, guys, just to keep in mind. These types of categories are, are resilient. If the economy is rough or bad or whatever, all this BS about um, the challenges of the economy and all this other stuff, if that were to be the case, the, the kids still have to eat, okay? That's the one thing I love about the food industry as a whole. That's not going away anytime soon. And, and if you're on an organic diet or you're wanting to feed your kids organic foods, you're not going to start cutting pennies and going back to pesticide-filled foods and putting that in your baby's mouth. Okay, so where, where do bundles come into play? Well, just that. It's, it's in the economy the way it is. Uh, if it were to be that way, then people will still want to buy 12 pack or six pack and get a good deal on it and have it all in one place at one time. Okay, so it's something that's quite resilient to, to outside, you know, situations or circumstances. So, again, guys, just keep that in mind. I don't want to ramble on forever and ever. That is the concept. It is. It's worked for me, and I'm just trying to share that with you guys. And, and trust me, guys, here's the other thing. Uh, I get a lot of emails. People saying, well, you know, you, you tell a lot of these secrets about what you do. Aren't you worried about competition? No, no, no. 
that's not how it works online. I, I don't, I don't, I've never believed that. And that's why my success has been the way it is. If I were to think to myself, wow, you know what? Everyone's doing chocolate covered pretzel rods. How can I be successful? That does, that stifles my creativity. So I come up with the idea of doing, I've got over 50 or 60 different variations of chocolate pretzel rods and I do very well with them. Okay. The, there's just too much opportunity. There's an overflow of opportunity. There's an abundance of opportunity on the internet. Hands down, period. Whatever it is that you do, do it to the best of your ability. And I'm going to tell you right now, you'll be successful. Period. Hands down. You don't have to do so much research and all this market analysis that's hogwash. I've never done any of that. And this year, we're doing over six figures, very high six figures in, in our business. So, and again, I'm not telling you guys this to, to toot my own horn. That's not my personality. Uh, I don't do that. I don't have that kind of ego. I'm simply telling you, just there's, there's opportunity that's endless on the internet. Just learn how to do some of these things. Get creative. Bring them together. Put them out there for people to see, and you're going to make money, period. So I hope you guys appreciate the video. You know, As always, give me a thumbs up. If you guys don't like the video, just give me a thumbs down. Um, if you guys do have any questions, please do let me know. And, of course, remember, guys, I have a Shopify store with a lot of resources available, um, consulting resources. We've got some social media marketing packages up. Um, I try to do all of this to help you guys be successful just as I have. And that is the whole reason why I do what I do on YouTube. So you guys have a great night and thank you for watching the videos. Take care.